Hello, my droogs and goons alike. I've returned from a far expedition to the north where, let's just say, I met many, 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 many girls called Molly who made me have a, a very good time and compulsively dance. And I would like to just give a quick uh, blog post, you could say, uh, about my experiments uh, with MDMA and also using, in combination with that, uh, mononamine oxide inhibitor. Now, uh, normally, uh, monoamine oxide inhibitor stops the breaking down of neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and neurodorephrine. And normally when you do this uh, with drugs, especially sero sero generic, serotonin, serogeneric drugs, drugs that fucking increase serotonin levels or release serotonin, um, it has very adverse effects in literature anyway, including um, serotonin syndrome, which is pretty fatal. Um, significant cardio events. Now, I didn't experience any of them. I used uh, a reversible, a reversible mono, monoamine, and monoamine <laughs> oxide inhibitor. <laughs> it's a very long word, uh, which I have down here actually. Um, one moment, my friends. I grabbed it. I found it. It is in a, a Polish. This this came from uh, Poland. So it's a Molka or Mike Mokolobrium. Mokolobrium. Just look that. I I am I suck at pronunciation. You'll learn that uh, if you subscribe to this channel. Now it is irreversible. So what that really means is its its effects are much shorter and, and less significant than traditional um, monoamine oxide inhibitors. Um, it's my understanding that when you, uh, you are working with reversible um, monoamine oxide inhibitors that it can be unbound to the receptor by something that binds stronger, it can be displaced. And that might be why I did not have any adverse uh, effects when I conducted this experiment. I mean, if requesting to pet people's hair um, and being asked what you're eating is adverse effects and I don't know and by what I mean by asking what people were asking me what I was eating because I was chewing up my <laughs> jar and it looked like I was eating and thank God some pretty young blonde girl came and gave me some gum and said I, I looked like I could need it and uh, yes I really did need the gum gum is a necessity when you experiment with MDMA and other stimulants. I'll just put that out there. Now, now I do not recommend doing this combination. It's fucking suicidal and crazy, but I did repeat this three times. I took 150 milligrams of the this, the, the mono amine oxide inhibitor <laughs> and uh, no really notable results um, I can't even say that I rolled harder um, I rolled really fucking hard uh, that was 120 milligrams of MDMA plus another 120 milligrams later on it's quite a substantial dose but not really it's pretty within bounds of reason and uh, I was able to conduct myself in a nightclub uh, fine it, Visually, I, I was obviously rolling. Uh, everyone knew I was rolling, but that's what this particular club uh, catered for. People who like to roll. Um, so, I can safely report in conclusion that, uh, yeah, M, 
a mono ox uh, monoamine oxide inhibitor that is reversible while ingesting MDMA did not kill me and I repeated this three times and it may not kill others. The dangers of such uh, of, of monoamine uh, oxide inhibitors and their interactions may well be overstated but further study and research is needed. Um, I wouldn't take my anecdotal experiment as, a, as, as research but there's one person who's not dead from it, and I've read other people of doing the same. Some having very adverse and terrible effects, and others having a, having a normal time. So this might be really dependent on your individual neurology. We'll have to, have to find out one day. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure someone will conduct some valid research into the topic. Anyway, guys, I didn't really have much to video about, so I just thought I'd tell you... Um, a story or a little little snippet of um, snippet of an experiment, I guess, uh, life experience, and I'll be back. So I'll be back uh, later uh, soon to show you guys how to extract hamelin uh, from sarin rue, and then I will be ingesting uh, around ten. 10 grams of whatever is yielded out of, uh, I'll, I'll start with the 10 or 20 grams of uh, seed material, organic matter, and then we'll see what the yield is from that, but I'll be ingesting it all. Um, I've, I've drunk a, a tea of 10 grams of serum root before, and uh, people say it's not hallucinogenic. I can uh, tell you it's very hallucinogenic at uh, that kind of dose. Um, it's quite unpleasant with the nausea and uh, what you'd call or refer to as the of the body load um, yes uh, it's it's uh, two it's, hours later it's not the best alright peace